Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Random by A. My name is Aurelia but you can call me R. So and today we are going to review three different uh, but at the same time slightly similar Jordan sneakers which was released this spring. If you're interested to see which Jordans I'm going to compare and maybe help you to choose which one you would need to get for the spring and summer, definitely keep on watching. <laughs> In early in the March, in the mid of April and end of April, Nike and Jordan released three similar but at the same time different sneakers, which I decide to compare to see different details and help you decide which one you would need to get for this spring and summer because this color on the sneakers I think so look amazing, especially for spring and summer. It's look fresh, it's look clean. Interesting. If you follow all the sneaker releases, pro probably you already have a feeling which sneakers I'm going to compare. Yes, I think so. You're right. This is Jordan 1 University Blue, Jordan 1 Hyper Royal, and Jordan 4 University Blue. So, <laughs> so, uh, Let's go and see what the similarities and what the differences is between all those three sneakers. Okay, I'm gonna start with the oldest one. Actually, I already reviewed the sneakers. I'm going to put the link right here if you're interested to see. It was released on the March 6th. Air Jordan 1 University Blue. Retail price $170. It was really hype release. I think so this sneaker was hype with the reason because it's looked really nice and clean. All this color story look really amazing together. Oh, this is real. All those black and white details really help to pop up for this light, bright blue color. All those colors is like probably you already know. It's related to Jordan University color, so that's why it's called University Blue, probably. If you would go here, it's coming with like second pair of light blue laces. It's having this like kind of matte and leathery details. I think so, it's really nicely made the sneakers. It's like, you can feel that it's like really nice and high quality. This blue is like really nice and soft. Uh, black and white details is like having this leathery pattern. It's have this Nike Air sign, white tongue. Originally it's coming with the nice pop of black laces. I like that it's having like slightly darker and brighter sole. This is the first pair. Okay, so and the second pair, Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. It was released on the April 17th and retail price was as well $170. Again, as like probably mostly of the Jordan sneakers, it was pretty difficult to get it because everybody wanted to get it and Resale prices is like going crazy. It's look different than most Jordan sneakers. Uh, some people compare to 2019 release Turbo Greens. So yeah, picture right here. It was like really wanted and like really weighted sneakers. And again, I understand why because it's like look at this beautiful piece of like art. Oh, okay. Uh, I like that it's like look really fresh, like really spring, and I like those like pop of like dark blue laces, like dark blue uh, Nike logo. It's having slightly more matte suede uh, details uh, and like leathery parts. It's like having this like slightly uh, different leather, leather pattern on like this white part. This is how it look hyper royal. And the third contestant is Jordan 4 University Blue. This 
sneakers it's like fairly fresh and new it was released on april 28th retail price was slightly higher it was 200 dollars and mostly materials is like this sway blue material it's having this like mesh on the side slight slightly mesh on the front originally coming with like this light matching blue laces it's had this pop of like black details right on top it's having of course jordan number it's having this jump man and this splashed uh, gray details and back could look really cool again so far jordan surprising me I'm mostly fan just like Jordan wants, but like lately they releasing like really cool and nice looking Jordans. All three look amazing and beautiful. And I love this light blue team go which going right here. I'm not sure if you want and if you need to have all three in your collection. Since like those uh releases only happen and i'm not sure if they're going to have uh restocks for those or you just don't have patience to wait and you want to get we can first compare the prices let's go to StockX and see what the prices for all those three sneakers so let's start with university blue jordan ones prices is going depend from the size of, unfortunately mostly prices is like between four and let's say five hundred dollars sorry if i'm looking here i'm watching to my phone prices for this again between maybe slightly higher price is like between let's say four hundred fifteen dollars and five hundred fifty dollars again depend from the size unfortunately those is slightly about twenty fifty dollars more expensive the retail price was higher for those it was two hundred dollars but for a resale you can get those sneakers 340 and 300 let's say 90 dollars so of all of those even like ordinal price was most expensive but you can get cheapest mostly i'm a fan of jordan ones and i understand where's the hype for those maybe more like celebrities wear jordan ones and you see less different models of jordans but it's worth to consider to get it if you want to save some it's not a huge difference between all of those three but yeah okay second criteria could be how much you could wear those sneakers i mean in my opinion which one you would wear off fastest and it would get dirty because all three materials it's having this suede material and i think so fairly all of actually th this one is not really suede it's like more just that i think so like since like all of those three sneakers is like fairly light color all of those three would get dirty pretty fast I think so from the touch even this one is the lightest one i think so since like this material i think so this one would get dirty the fastest i'm not sure if you already wear those uh want to share your experience comment down below but i think so it would get fairly quickly dirty and i'm not sure how fast and easily you can remove stains from those because this one is like kind of rough suede uh, material and i think so it's like slightly easier to remove the stains i think so second one which would get dirty it would be like definitely this one it's like really light so on the third one again 
since like all three is like this soft nice material all three of those would get dirty but i but if you know more share your experience in the comments down below third criteria i think so would be how easily you can add this to your wardrobe and i think so even all of those three you easily could blend in with your wardrobe and i think so all of three would look really nice you know for the simple look jeans like shirt even i think so for a girl those would look nice with like summery dresses but i think so most difficult still would be get matched with more outfits i would say it's jordan ford i think so since like this model sneakers is like a little bit more chunkier it's having those like bigger details and this brighter color you know if you're a bright person go for it i think so if you uh, want experiment you could get matched with anything but if you don't want like too loud outfits i think so you would have most difficult time to find outfits for this sneaker second place would be this even it's like again like pretty look wearable and it's having less those loud details and i think so jordan won't easily match to any outfits but i think so the winner would be hyper royals and the reason why since like even it's a blue a sneaker but it's like most details is like really light even all this suede material it's like this kind of fading out kind of look really really light and not too loud so <laughs> so uh so easily could dress up or dress down with these sneakers in the end i think so it's all three sneakers it's really beautiful it's like really wearable it's depending you know when you want you want something louder or something like more classy looking uh, and again depend like you know how much you want to spend like we can pay prices i think so all of those three look really cool really trendy what everybody really was hyped about all of those three sneakers either of one of those you would choose i think so you would be all set for this spring and summer i hope you enjoyed this video if you would like to see more my sneaker reviews i'm going to put a couple videos right here if you don't mind to subscribe comment down below which one you would like to get like this video and i hope you to see you in the next video bye